Unless you're watching Babes World on Slam TV, thank you so much. And if you don't know, now you do. You know who he is. You know this man right here. <laughs> What's going on, Skrilla? Good, man. What's going on? Yeah, I'm here. I'm yeah. chilling. I'm living. You know, I've been... Yeah, we got to live. We got to live. We, we pass each other a few times. I told you that. Yeah. I, I've been waiting for this moment right here. Yeah, but you know, the season was busy, you know. I'm, yes. a, I'm a busy man, but I'm here now, so you know, we got to get things cooking. Yeah. Skrilla. Yeah. Your name. How would you get the name Skrilla? Well, well, a lot of people know many people from my past, my older friends and stuff like that. Mm. I got my name from rapping. Because mm -hmm. my first genre of music is rap. Mm -hmm. For sure, love it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, I just kept the name. Even though I made it to Soka, I was like, I was kind of hesitant. I was like, yo, screw that, Soka. I should have got saying name. Probably Yellow Pants Man or. Nah, man, that's too cheesy. Screw mm -hmm. So, I keep the name. You know what I mean? It was, yeah. it was my rap name, so I kept it and carried it straight into Soka. So, how long how long ago was that where you, like, rapping? <laughs> saying, like, uh, from 97. 97. Yeah, that's when I was in school, Garrison Secondary. Yeah. Like, yes, Garrison Secondary. Yeah. yeah. And they used to always like just be rapping. Every little chance they get, you know, find a classroom door, mm -hmm. get me for me to hit up a beat, and they go on clear from there. But they always like music. But rapping was my main thing. Yeah. Now, I would know because I, I mean, I've, I've been, I forgot where, I guess it was like your barbershop was. Kind of close by, right. and I just heard your song. Mm. I was like, "Man, they keep playing Skrilla song, you know." <laughs> and then they're like, "Yeah, this is Skrilla's area right here." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, sure. you have a barbershop, yeah, a clothing store, yeah, it's a small boutique. It's actually on to the barbershop. It's okay. like one whole big setup. Right. Yeah. And then you have models and bottles yeah. that you do here. Mm -hmm. Like, where where'd you get your ambition? That hustler, like ambition. Yeah, well. Like I tell you from, but it's gonna be funny. But my story started from like I would say primary school, mm -hmm. age eight. I remember my first set of money that I really made was off of. I don't know if anybody remember this, but you have to be an '80s baby to remember. <laughs> you have to be an '80s baby to remember <laughs> the Game Boy with the purple buttons. It was I'm, gray, I'm, I and it had the purple buttons and a green screen. Yes, you please. have to be an '80s baby to remember this. <laughs> I remember there was a game called Elevator Action. Mm. It was very hard to defeat. Right. And I was the only, uh, that's like 1992, mm. no, 1992, right. to be exact. Right. I had a Game Boy. Nobody at school mm. had a Game Boy because my father used to work overseas. Yeah. So everything that was new, any mm. gadget, I got it early. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I remember being at school and was like, Suppose they ask a guy if he would pay a quarter to play the game. I know he can get it beat. Mm -hmm. And he was dead real quick. And they wanted to play. Right. So he went behind the school and I had a line from here to St. Lucie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the line was long, 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 like law, line was long like law school. But then, <laughs> so I was like, yo. And I started getting a quarter. So my pocket was like bursting heavy. I was like, what? Yeah. This whole getting money this feels like Right, right, you know right. What I mean? And then I got sent home. Mm. Yeah, teacher. For how, how long? Took away the game boy. He told my mother, well, don't let him come out of school with this game boy. Taking away the money from children, yada, yada, yada. And then it went on to um, football cards. Yeah. Yeah, I get some football, <laughs> football cards. And he used to make the football cards look like it's something. You, you go to buy this, it. You want to give me 10 cents, Marty said. Mm -hmm. Start getting money again. Mm -hmm. All my football cards went. And I could draw real good because I'm, I'm an artist as well. Yeah. I could draw. So I used to draw Carl Knight mm -hmm. was the brand back then. You mm -hmm. know the kid with the mm -hmm. right? So you do the crack and I sign paint it in like color in gold. Yeah. I do an embroidery over the paper. Nice. I sell it for twenty five cents. What? And it was I kept <laughs> on <laughs> It was endless it was endless from there. So yeah. I it was in my blood. Mm -hmm. Ambition to get this little paper was in my blood. So mm -hmm. I just started um the ball just started rolling. So you said you're an artist mm -hmm. and that kinda lines up with well, you are an artist. I mean, yeah. I don't like to say, I don't like to put anybody in a box. Exactly. exactly. Um, but you're also a barber. Yeah, for sure. Word on the street, he's the best in Barbados. <laughs> I'm just saying. I heard yeah. some things. <laughs> it's true. So you're an artist. So how does that connect? Well, you mean with the physical with art? Like physical the art. And yeah, then, because yeah. actually, like, okay, so I got a grade two. CXC mm -hmm. art. Only did it once. I could have got a one, but kind of lazy. But anyway, mm -hmm. got the grade two, and um, I had always liked haircutting. Mm -hmm. I always liked to see like you know different fades and stuff. And I was younger, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because when you're young and thinking, 
it had this curly paper it was in style mm -hmm. it was saying serious back then <laughs> flat tops were saying serious back then you know what i mean yeah so i was i wanted to be the person to create that and make a guy feel like yo he did that you know mm -hmm. what i mean when a guy go and he come and he hear and he feels sweet himself mm -hmm. so i mean i just got into it and with the art now as i just said i took advice from a um a barber a name hot dog that is his nickname mm -hmm. dave right mm -hmm. he was telling me you could draw Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, real good. to show you some art. Man, so you could cut here then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My, he just told me that. Like, I was like, what? I could cut here. Mm -hmm. Why you not going to do this thing? And it just started. Right. And it, it manifested itself because mm -hmm. the barber shop is very successful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's what really happened. Took the art and put it straight into the hair cutting. You see that? Uh, little boys and girls <laughs> and parents <laughs> listening, watching. You know, you, yeah. got, you may have a little hustler, like a little, you know. Yeah. And you, you got sent home for something. You know what I mean? That, but, but now you're a Skrilla. Yeah. Like, you're sure. doing really well. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. So, I, I, I follow you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So, I will know that you have, and you're, you're very, um, a loving person. I see you with, you have, your family. Yeah, for man. sure. For sure. So, how is that about if you're, you know, with the music <coughs> and the, the party, and then how do you, how do you juggle everything? Right now, that's my that's my hardest challenge right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I know that nothing lasts forever. Mm -hmm. But my family has to last forever. Yeah. Or at least until they go. Right. You understand? So that's why I'm sacrificing right now. Probably the, this no time a little bit mm -hmm. with the family. Until they can get everything on a level. Because everybody knows in the entertainment world, mm -hmm. it's very short-lived. No mm -hmm. matter what anyone tells you, it's very short-lived. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you up here right now, you be hot. Mm -hmm. Then you just, you know what I mean? Or you might be a little dormant, you might be still relevant, mm -hmm. but you're not as, you know what I mean? So now is my time. Right. Doing it, choosing mm -hmm. it, getting all I can get out of it. Make my name because they don't know when it will stop. Mm -hmm. But my family will not stop. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a sacrifice, do what I gotta do now, and then get to my family a little later. But everything is cool though. Because yeah. my girl, she lives with me, my daughter, she lives with me, so mm -hmm. we good. 2017 rolls around and everybody is talking about wood. <laughs> yes, Grilla. Yeah, man. So talk to me right now about wood. How did you come up with the concept? Like, where did it all start? Sure, goodness, goodness. Wood is a real, real funny. Mm -hmm. I have to tell you how I come up with wood, but wood is so funny, man. Okay, maybe I not all the details of how you yeah, came yeah, up with yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all the details for sure. No, no. I just make it short. <laughs> I was outside mm -hmm. doing some work around the place, man. Hit my foot on a piece of plywood, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. See what's what here? Oh, hit my foot hard, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood hard? Some pine wood, yeah, wood. <laughs> pine, cedar, purple hard. Mm -hmm. Went to New York. Mm -hmm. Meet the jazz spider. Big guts to the jazz spider on the beat. If you sell a drum to the world, the jazz yeah. spider large. Mm -hmm. Uprising, step of your large, you know, I got big on my family. For of sure. course, of course. Yeah. Yes. And spider was like, yo. I got this beat here, yo, Skrilla, I want you to hear this here, man, you know what I mean? You're supposed to hear it, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna let you hear it, man, because I feel your energy. You might play the beat, I hear the bass, down, burr, 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 burr. I said, yo, it's a spoiler boy, music, pine, fiddle. I said, you got a song for that boy, you might say, you serious? Mm -hmm. That was in January, early January. And it was like, yeah, you might say, well, they can send you the beat, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So let me know what you got on it. He sent me the beat, mm -hmm. he went home, right on the chorus, point to the purple heart, kill it. Mm -hmm. And that was it. All right, so we're here. We have a hit, and we know it's a hit. Mm. It's not just in our minds. <laughs> we, have, it's proven. we have children singing it and everything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's factual right now. It's true. You entered the competition. Yeah. And you chose that song. Mm, yeah. Why did sure. you? And you chose that because you felt like that was the one. You were confident in that. Song. Yeah, I was. I was. The public made me confident in mm, that song. But right. my, the song I wanted to sing was playing with my head. Mm, that the honest, that I'm sorry, more, I love that song. That, too. That, 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 yeah, I love that one. Just saying. Anyway, anyway, that was the song. That was a. <laughs> I used to play that one a lot. Too. Yeah, but go ahead. Though, right, right. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> that was the book of the song, buddy. Yeah, I had yeah. my heart in that song, but really, yes. you you don't know which one is your big song. Yeah. And they let the public choose. What mm -hmm. I did actually, though, right? Mm -hmm. I sent out a Snapchat. I was like, "All right, people, what song to put in the bottom of soccer competition? Right. Tell me, what are playing my head? Mm -hmm. When I done, I could have built a house. Mm. Out, to the, <laughs> out to the comments." <laughs> You my yeah. purple heart. Sing with, sing with purple heart. You my purple heart. Right. Skrilla, who? You gonna sing with, boy? 
all about 50 comments yeah and beer ladies mm -hmm. so i was like you know but mm -hmm. i gotta go so <clears throat> the competition goes down everybody performs everybody has their fans yeah. everybody's excited everybody's like waiting to know yeah yeah and then it comes out <coughs> stiffy retains his, his crown, his crown. Yeah. stiffy wins now in barbados there was a lot of controversy yeah. about that so mm -hmm. you will have people who just breaking it down yeah, yeah who problem. were very much team stiffy but then <coughs> you had a huge amount of people who felt that you should have won yeah and there was a lot of I mean, everybody had an opinion about it. I've seen blogs about like it. Like everything, like everything, yeah. So talk to me <laughs> about the aftermath for you. Well, the aftermath for me, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Um, people had their own views on what they think I should have done or what I should have not done. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't really no bad. Everybody was like, man, you got this next year's school, man. I had you to me, man. Don't worry, you still have been in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Most Everybody goes it, yo man, use my winners, tell it don't care, whatever. That's how the fans were. Mm -hmm. But for me, it the it wasn't bad. Every I had people that hold them on. I glass if you win mom, uncle, you can't perform and blah blah. It was you mm -hmm. know, you get your you get your goods, you get your bad. Mm -hmm. But take everything with a pinch of salt. Yeah. Because nobody knows. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. And everybody a lot of people just know how to focus on the negative mm -hmm. and just dash really positive, you know what I mean? Yeah. But nobody knows. But it wasn't too bad. Mm -hmm. Most of the people was on was saying, "Oh man, don't worry about it. Got to come next year." Mm -hmm. You know, some people was like, "Nah, don't mind." I believe that you but I think that tournament was real close, and it should got first, second, and third, which is something that be kind of looking into for next year. Right? You know what I mean? Discussing mm -hmm. because that's like one thing though—the feeling of losing, mm -hmm. not knowing that you could actually come second. Right? It make you feel bad, no matter where you, you just feel bad. Right? Regardless, so, mm -hmm. but. Other than that, it wasn't bad. Yeah. It wasn't bad at all. You get a lot of shows though. Yeah. Well, a lot hello, of shows. Hello, hello, Skrilla. Enough would get pet. <laughs> would get pet all, all the lemon parishes. I ain't got to tell you. They all go for it. Not see. even just the FC, MC, you <laughs> traveling and, and getting yeah. around. You're on planes and stuff. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Represent we do two, it. four, six. All right, so it's time to have a little fun. And yes, Skrilla has on headphones. He's not going crazy. I'm the one going crazy. So we want to do something a little bit different. So this one is called the Whisper Game. So he, I'm going to turn the music up so he cannot hear what's, what I'm saying. And he has to guess the words on this card. You would know, but he's not going to know. So we're going to do this right now. Macaroni pie. Pop for pass. <laughs> well, why is he so loud? He's like, one more time. <laughs> Macaroni pie. <laughs> Brick for me. <laughs> Can I show him? Can I show him? This is hard. This is hard. All right, well, all right. one more time. One more time. Macaroni pie. One more time. Macaroni pie. Break my heart. <laughs> Duh. Can, can I show? Can I show? Them? Macaroni <laughs> pie. <laughs> Talk with the song. <laughs> with a song okay. <laughs> welcome to Barbados <laughs> there was so much lip movement <laughs> this is unfair <laughs> one more time one more all right, time all right. welcome to Barbados work till morning Alright, alright, alright. What, what was that? Okay. Welcome. <laughs> okay, see? <laughs> this is unfair. Where <laughs> she said, I'm gonna get it. <sighs> alright. One, two, three. 
Welcome to Barbados. What type of pie? <laughs> Welcome to Barbados. <laughs> How much wood you want? <laughs> How much wood you want? Yes! 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 <laughs> oh, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> that was good. Let me, let me stop. Got warm. Got warm. <laughs> that was good. Thank you so much. I, actually, I think we could end it right there. I have, a, have some tears in my eyes. That was like really funny. That was good. And you got, and you got the last word. Yeah. Right? Skrilla, thank you so much for it was, it was, it was, it was a pleasure. coming to the yeah, show. Yeah, and I, I'm sure a lot of people watching learn. I know I certainly le learned some new things about yeah. you. And uh, um, your story is pretty amazing. It's really and touching because it made her cry. <laughs> <laughs> and you have so much further to go. Yeah, this thanks, is like literally thanks, thanks. just the beginning. Just the beginning. It's surface. So it's scratching. You never know. It may be a vein Skrilla collaboration. Or for sure. Man. It's easy. I don't know. Easy. Yes, Skrilla. Mm-hmm. Respect. Yo, this is the boy Skrilla, and you're watching Vans World on Slam TV. Bang, see the purple heart. What type of what you want, girl? I said, What type of what you want? Let me go.